Matthew 18, Jesus tells a powerful story about how unforgiveness can block God's favor in our lives. The story involved a king who was owed a huge amount by one of his servants. The king planned to sell the man and his family into slavery in order to repay the debt. But the servant fell to his knees and he begged the king to be patient with him. And the king had mercy on this servant and he completely canceled his debt. However, the forgiven servant went out and found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. And he demanded the other servant to pay him. And he refused to forgive the other servant his debt. In fact, he had his fellow servant thrown into prison. Perhaps you know how this story ends. The king is outraged by this turn of events. And he says to the first man, you wicked servant, I canceled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant, just like I had on you? And in anger, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured, the Bible says, until he could pay back all that he owed. Jesus concludes the story in verse 35. This is how my heavenly Father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. What a sad story this is. The first servant was forgiven a huge debt. If we were to put that in the context of dollars today, it was a $6 billion debt he owed. But the Lord forgave him, and just as the Lord has forgiven each one of us. But this man refused to be merciful and forgive his fellow servant. And that debt in today's dollars was 12000 That's a lot of money, but how do you compare $6 billion with 12000 and as a result, Jesus says the man was given over to jailers to be tortured. This story shows how important it is for us to forgive others, just as God has forgiven us. And when we do that, we're going to live in God's favor and in His blessings. And when we refuse to forgive, we set ourselves up to be tormented and put in spiritual anguish. Our unforgiveness isn't hurting the other person nearly as much as it's hurting our own life. Thank you for taking time again to join me today. I encourage you to spend some time with God on this vital issue of forgiveness. And ask Him to show you anyone you haven't fully forgiven yet. And make a decision to forgive others just as He has forgiven you. If you've missed any of these teachings along the way, you can always watch them on our website archives. Until we meet again, I also encourage you to share what you've been learning along this journey with your friends and loved ones and let them know that God's favor can change everything in their life. God bless you until we're together again tomorrow.